Hello and welcome back to Coco Sleep, a new podcast of original children's bedtime stories and meditations designed to make bedtime a dream. I'm your narrator, Abby, and I'm delighted and honoured to be part of your bedtime routine. Please remember to subscribe so you will never miss a single episode. Then you can listen at bedtime, when travelling, or whenever you want to switch off and have a nap. As you may already know, we called our show Coco Sleep in honour of a little sleepy koala called Coco. We've already met many of his friends in Sleepy Forest, where he lives with his family, and we've heard how he celebrated a very special Christmas. In tonight's story, we again follow in his footsteps as he travels through a sleepy forest with his pink ukulele on a mission to find the song in his heart. Soon we'll wander through the woodland together and discover how nature's symphony helps Coco on his quest. But before we get started, take a little time to snuggle down into your bed and make yourself as comfortable as you can. Wriggle your fingers and toes and then snuggle down a little bit more. Close your eyes and take some deep, relaxing breaths. And now, this is Coco's Ukulele, written by Gillian Rogerson. Deep in the heart of Sleepy Forest stood a cosy wooden cabin. Inside the cabin lived a family of koalas. The youngest koala was called Coco. One sunny morning in June, Grandpa Koala and Coco were sitting in the living room doing a jigsaw puzzle together when Grandpa said, Coco, would you like to play the ukulele? The family ukulele? Coco asked. I would love to, Grandpa, but I don't know how to play it. Grandpa said it wasn't difficult to learn and he was sure Coco would get the hang of it in no time at all. Grandpa got out of his comfy rocking chair and walked over to an antique cupboard at the back of the living room. He reached inside the cupboard and took out a pink ukulele that had been in the koala family for generations. He lovingly ran his paw over the instrument before returning to Coco's side. With a smile on his face, Grandpa said, It's your turn to look after this now. I know you'll take good care of it. He gave the ukulele to Coco. Coco asked his Grandpa what he should do first with the instrument. How did the strings work? And which paw should he hold it in? You'll work it all out, his Grandpa replied. Go into the forest, be still, and listen to the song in your heart, and then you'll know what to do. I don't think I have a song in my heart, Coco said. Grandpa smiled. You do. We all do. Off you go. It's time for my nap. He gave his grandson a little wave before settling back into the rocking chair. He pulled a wooden blanket over his knees and closed his eyes. Coco felt a little bewildered but eager at the same time. He loved listening to his grandpa playing the ukulele and so did the rest of the family. Could he possibly learn to play the beautiful instrument too? He wasn't sure, but he would try his best. Coco left the cabin and headed into the forest, holding the pink ukulele in one paw. The June sun was shining brightly over Sleepy Forest, and the fragrant aroma of wild flowers floated towards Coco on a gentle breeze. Coco wasn't sure how he would find the song in his heart, but decided to go for a walk whilst he thought about it. His paw curled more firmly around the ukulele. 
even though he didn't know how to play it yet. Just having the instrument in his paw felt comforting, almost as though the ukulele had been waiting for him to hold it. Feeling the welcome warmth of the sun on his back, Coco walked on through the forest. Rays of sunlight shone through the branches of trees and created flickering shadows that danced across the path. Birds tweeted merrily to each other as they swooped and soared through the air. A gentle breeze blew through the tops of the trees, making a soft whispering sound. It was a beautiful day. Coco hummed joyfully to himself, happy to be outside in the sunshine. He decided to head into a nearby meadow and find somewhere quiet to play the ukulele. He soon reached a flower-strewn meadow. The long grass swayed gently in the breeze, creating a soft rustling sound. Coco walked through the meadow and trailed his free paw through the grass, feeling the softness of it against his fur. Butter yellow daisies and strawberry red poppies were strewn around the meadow like precious gems. A fragrant aroma of lavender and chamomile scented the air. As he wandered through the meadow, the tips of Coco's paws began to tingle a little, and he wondered what it would feel like to touch the strings of the pink ukulele. The little koala moved over to a rock and perched on top of it. He gave the ukulele a long look before instinctively pulling it closer to his chest and curling his left paw around the neck of the instrument. His right paw came around the other side of the ukulele and rested lightly on the strings. All around him came the sounds of the meadow and the insects and birds who lived there. Fluffy bees buzzed as they flitted from flower to flower. Crickets chirped cheerfully. Birds sang joyful melodies from the treetops. And the wind whispered and sighed gently as it travelled through the tall, swaying grass. Slowly and carefully, Coco ran his paw down the strings of the ukulele. An interesting sound came out. It sounded very similar to the sound of the gentle wind. Coco tilted his head and listened more carefully to the melody of nature that surrounded him. It was a soothing sound and made him feel calm and relaxed. He moved his paw over the strings again, and then again, and again. Before he knew it, Coco's paw was moving back and forth over the strings in perfect rhythm. The sound was enchanting, and made Coco break into a smile. Feeling surer of himself, he proceeded to strum the ukulele with growing confidence until he was playing a light-hearted tune that perfectly matched the harmony of the meadow. So engrossed was he in playing his ukulele that Coco didn't notice an audience of rabbits, hedgehogs and badgers had gathered in front of him. He only became aware of them when they broke into an appreciative applause at the end of his song. More! More! they cried out. Coco blushed a little and said he wasn't very good at playing the ukulele. A rabbit clutched his paws to his chest and declared, 
Oh, my little koala friend, you are wrong about that. You play that ukulele as if you've been playing it all your life. I've never heard such a beautiful tune. It's utterly captivating. Please, play some more for us. I'll try, Coco replied shyly. Coco pushed himself off the rock and settled the ukulele more comfortably in his arms. He listened once more to the sounds around him and then began to match the melody on his ukulele. As he got caught up in the utter joy of playing the instrument, his little tummy wiggled from side to side. He bounced lightly on his feet and his ears bobbed in time to the music. He felt like the ukulele was part of him, as though its music was matching the beat of his heart. When Coco finished his song, he received another enthusiastic round of applause from the forest animals. He took a small bow and said thank you to them. At their request, he played two more songs. Some of the animals began to yawn and said the music was like a lullaby and it had made them very sleepy. The yawns were contagious and soon all the animals were yawning. When Coco came to the end of his song, the woodland animals gave him sleepy goodbyes before heading to their homes for a nap. Coco wondered if there were other sounds in the forest that he could capture on his ukulele. There was only one way to find out. Leaving the meadow behind, Coco ventured on through Sleepy Forest. Before too long, he came to an old wooden bridge that spanned a gently flowing stream. Coco walked onto the bridge, feeling the warmth of the wooden boards beneath his feet. He stopped in the middle of the bridge and peered over the side. He carefully listened to the babbling sound of the sparkling water as it bubbled and tumbled over stones and around rocks. A couple of frogs croaked out happy hellos to each other from opposite sides of the river bank. A school of frolicking golden fish made small splashes as they swam through the water. Coco took a few moments to absorb the beautiful music. Then he placed his paw on the strings of his ukulele and gently plucked them. The sound that came from it matched the rhythm of the river and its wildlife. Smiling to himself, Coco added the song of the river to the melody of the meadow, and soon he had a new tune to play. His relaxing refrain caused another small crowd to gather this time comprised of otters, toads and a couple of ducks. Once more the newly gathered audience gave the little koala a round of applause when he'd finished playing his instrument. One of the ducks said, Thank you so much for that enchanting tune. It has made my heart feel light with happiness and I can't stop smiling. Coco bashfully bowed his head and said, Thank you. The river animals asked for another song, which Coco was more than happy to play. He was getting used to holding the ukulele, and how to pluck the strings in a way that made the best sound. As he played another song, he noticed some of the animals yawning 
and tiredly blinking their eyes. One by one, the river animals began to say goodbye to Coco before turning around and heading back home for a sleep. Coco lingered a little longer on the bridge and listened to the soft sounds that enveloped him. His heart felt light and carefree, and he wondered what other sounds awaited him in Sleepy Forest. He continued on his way. A cloud of lilac butterflies flittered towards him, their wings tipped with glimmering gold. They danced joyfully around the little koala, and he couldn't resist taking up his ukulele and playing a melody that was in tune with their delicate dancing movements. The butterflies fluttered some more around Coco, before flying away and into the trees. Coco lowered his ukulele and carried on walking. The memory of the beautiful butterflies made him feel warm and fuzzy inside. Soon, he arrived at a small waterfall that flowed over silver-flecked rocks. Coco stopped near it, lifted his head, and felt a light mist settling on the tip of his nose. Taking a step back, he tilted his head and listened to the sound of the cascading water as it flowed into the stream below. Droplets of water landed on the shiny stones at the sides of the stream and created a calming, melodic beat. Coco took to playing his ukulele again, and it didn't take him long to harmonise his instrument with the song of the waterfall. He added the dance of the butterflies to the song and made another new melody. Joy filled Coco's heart as he closed his eyes and swayed from side to side to the music coming from the pink ukulele. Once he'd finished playing his latest song, Coco continued exploring the forest and listening out for the soothing sounds that came from every part of it. Whenever he heard a new melody, he would play a matching tune on his ukulele. He listened carefully to the snuffling and shuffling of animals as they explored the undergrowth. Squirrels running up and down trees, deer nuzzling through fruit bushes looking for something to eat. The whispering wind drifted through the trees and hedges of Sleepy Forest. To Coco's delight, he easily remembered every new song he created. All of nature's enchanting orchestra was replicated perfectly by Coco and his ukulele. Each new note caused more peace and love to flow through the little koala. His face was a picture of pure happiness as he strolled along, strumming his ukulele. Wherever he went, a small group of animals would gather and listen to his happy tune. And it wasn't long before the new audience would start to yawn and feel delightfully drowsy. Coco was having such a wonderful time that he didn't even notice the passing of the day. 
he only became aware of night approaching, when the daytime sounds around him grew quieter, and no new animals came forth to listen to his songs. The stillness caused Coco to stop playing his ukulele. Looking upwards, he noticed the sky had turned a darker shade of blue, and a handful of twinkling stars had appeared. He was about to head home, but something stopped him. Different sounds were transported towards him on the balmy evening breeze. Daytime sounds were replaced with the sleepy tunes of twilight. Coco heard deep hoots coming from an owl hidden within the boughs of a tree. The sweet serenade of a nightingale was born on a breeze and it wrapped around him. A gentle buzzing came from a company of cicadas who were nestled together in the night-scented grass. The soft shuffling of a fox on a nighttime stroll could be heard faintly in the distance. Coco listened silently to the assortment of soft, soothing sounds that encircled him. Playing more softly, he began to pluck the strings of his ukulele until he coordinated it with the soft symphony of the evening. The soothing lullaby coming from Coco's ukulele ebbed and flowed through the forest like an undulating wave of magical music. As Coco played on, the sky turned darker and the moon peered out from behind a cloud. Moonbeams danced across the grass in time to the koala's song. Coco played for a little while longer before deciding it was time to head home. He walked back through the forest, gently playing the ukulele. Now that he'd learned how to play it, he found himself unable to stop. Playing the pink ukulele was as natural to him as breathing. Onwards through Sleepy Forest, the koala went, creating new tunes along the way. He passed by the home of a mother rabbit who was settling her babies down to sleep. Coco's restful lullaby floated on the air and down into the rabbit's home. The tune alighted on the bunny's ears as lightly as a feather and caused their eyes to gently close. Very soon they were fast asleep. The mother rabbit sighed happily and lay down next to her snoozing offspring. Thanks to Coco's song, she fell easily into a deep slumber. Coco walked past the hedgerows where a father hedgehog was tucking his little ones in for the night. Coco's melody drifted over the family, and wrapped around the young ones like a comforting blanket. Tiny eyes slowly closed, and the hedgehogs snuggled further down into their leafy, warm beds. The father hedgehog let out a blissful sigh and settled down to sleep too. Still playing his ukulele, 
Coco walked back over the old wooden bridge. His lilting lullaby headed towards a couple of frogs who were sitting on a lily pad. They rested their heads together and smiled happily. Their look turned dreamy as they gazed at the full moon with love in their hearts. More and more animals of the forest heard Coco's dreamlike tune as it glided through trees, over fields, and across the grassy glades. Squirrels fell asleep, tucked snugly in the branches of trees. Drowsy deer lay down in moonlit clearings and were transported into a peaceful sleep. Baby bears cuddled up to each other at the back of cosy caves and drifted into restful dreams. Tired moles returned to their underground homes and bade each other good night before falling asleep. Coco continued his journey home. The strumming of the ukulele matched the steady beat of his footsteps. Moonbeams shone brightly on the ground and helped the little koala on his homeward-bound journey. After a while, Coco began to yawn and stopped playing the ukulele. He held it in one paw and swung it gently as he carried on walking. He softly hummed the songs he had collected that day. Very soon, Coco's home came into view. It was a welcome sight for the little koala who had grown steadily more tired on his walk. Grandpa was sitting on a wooden bench on the porch, waiting for Coco. As his grandson climbed the steps, the elderly koala gave Coco a knowing look and said, You found the song in your heart. Coco nodded happily and said he'd found lots of songs. Unable to help himself, he let out a big yawn. And another one. And one more. Grandpa stood up and walked over to Coco. He gently took the pink ukulele from him. Then, Grandpa Koala scooped his grandson up and carried him inside. Coco yawned again before resting his sleepy head against Grandpa's chest. His tired little eyes closed. Grandpa put Coco into his bed and tucked a woolen blanket snugly around him. He softly placed a kiss on his grandson's head. He settled himself in the chair at the side of Coco's bed and smiled lovingly at the little koala. Even though Coco was already falling asleep, Grandpa Koala began to play a soothing lullaby on the pink ukulele. It was the first song he had learned to play when he was Coco's age. It was the song in his heart. As he softly strummed the pink ukulele, Grandpa Koala thought about the soft, 
soothing lullabies that drifted through sleepy forest every day. The melody of the meadow, with buzzing bees flitting from flower to flower, and birds chirping cheerfully from the treetops. The rhythm of the flowing river as it babbled under the old wooden bridge before meandering through the flower-scented meadow. And the twilight sounds of the nighttime animals. Grandpa smiled. He had never forgotten his first song. It would be in his heart forever. His lullaby came to an end. Grandpa put the pink ukulele next to Coco's bed and quietly stood up. He gently kissed the top of Coco's sleeping head one more time before leaving the room. As the rest of the koala family settled down to sleep that night, the whispering wind continued to drift gently through the trees of Sleepy Forest.